So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unbox and wirelessly set up the HP NV6455 printer. Now, while this is being done on the 6455, this setup process is applicable to all HP NV6400 series printers. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Now, the first thing you'll notice once you open the box up is the setup guide and a few other pieces of documentation. Now, hopefully you will not need the setup guide because I'll be working step by step to set up this printer and next you'll find both the cartridges and the power cable. Now I've placed the printer's box on a flat table or surface and I'm going to pull the printer out and that's the easiest way to get it out of the box. And once I removed it from the box I removed the foam end caps and the plastic wrap that was covering the printer and the next step is to remove all the pieces of blue packing tape and we're going to start with the ones on top. These are the easiest ones to get off so pull on them and gently remove them. And we're gonna remove this one back here. There's one up here, move that. And we're gonna remove one more, which is up here. Let's open up the scan bed and remove this piece of tape up here. And that piece of tape also has a piece of foam attached to it. You wanna remove that as well. And we're gonna remove this piece of protective plastic from the scan bed. So pull that off. And let's also remove these pieces of tape on top. There's one right up here, peel that off. Peel the second one that's up here. And there's one more back here, let's remove that. Now to remove the next few pieces of packing material, we're gonna to have to access the cartridge compartment. And to do that, I'm gonna close the scan bed lid first. So I'm gonna use the two tabs on the left and right hand side to open up the printer's cartridge compartment. And we're gonna start with this piece of blue tape, which begins on the front surface. We're gonna gently pry that up and over, and then pull on that till that comes out. And that is attached to a piece of cardboard which you absolutely need to remove. And we're gonna get rid of that and trash this. And then we're gonna close the cartridge compartment door. Now I've turned the printer around and I'm gonna attach the printer's power cable. And to do that, I'm gonna plug this end of the power cable into the back of the printer. And then I'm gonna plug the other end into a power outlet. Now as soon as you plug the printer in, there's a light on the front, an LED light bar, and that turns green. And you have to wait a few seconds till the the light turns purple and that's when you're ready to move on to the next step. Now you can see that the light is now slowly flashing purple which means we're ready to move on to the next step. And it's now time to install cartridges in the printer. Now before we install these cartridges, we need to do a little bit of prep. So let's get both the cartridges out of their outer packaging. And the next thing you wanna do is remove this protective sticker. That is the protective sticker on the contacts of the cartridge. So you wanna pull on this tab and remove that protective sticker. And you wanna do the same for both the black and tricolor cartridges. And to open up the cartridge compartment, I'm gonna slide my fingers into the slot on the side and pull up till the cartridge compartment opens up. So let's install the cartridges. We're going to flip these trays up on both the black and tricolor trays and then I'm going to insert the cartridge with the electronic contacts facing down and inward. So I'm going to place it in there. I'm going to place it in the tray and then I'm going to pull down on this locking tab to lock in place. Let's do the same for the black cartridge. Again the electronic contacts facing back and inward. So again it in, use that locking tab to pull it into place and let's now close the cartridge compartment door. So the rest of the setup on this printer has to be done either through a smartphone app or through a computer, whether that's a Mac or a PC. And next I'm gonna show you how to set up the HP NV6400 series using a Windows computer. To start the setup, the first thing you're gonna do is tap on your start button and then go up to the search bar on top and you're gonna search for store. And the first result that comes up is the locally installed Microsoft Store app. I'm gonna tap on that, and this opens up your Windows or Microsoft Store app. Give that a few seconds. And once the Microsoft Store app opens up, you're gonna search for HP Smart. Hit enter to view the results. And the first app you're gonna notice is the HP Smart app. Tap on that and then tap install and give it a few seconds to install the app. And once it's done installing, click on the Windows start bar and we're going to look for HP 
Smart, which is now installed. You can see the app there. Tap on that to open it up. And on the first screen, it says Welcome to HP Smart and asks you to accept some terms and conditions. Tap Accept All. And on the next screen, it asks you to either set up a new printer or sign in. What I recommend doing at this point is signing in to your HP account. Now that is if you already have one. If you don't already have an HP account, you can always sign up for one. I already have an HP account, so I'm just gonna sign in. But if you don't have an account, you can easily sign up for one. It doesn't take very long. And then sign in to that account. And this brings you to the home page of the app where you'll see a large add printer button. Tap on that. And it then searches for all available printers. And as you can see on screen, it has found the printer we're looking for, which is the HP NV6400 series. Tap set up and then it says it's time to connect set up and manage your hp printer click continue and on the screen that follows it asks you whether you'd like to give it access to the wi-fi password and this is the wi-fi password for the network that your computer is connected to and i'm actually going to click continue and give it automatic access to that Wi-Fi password. And then it tells you that it is setting up your printer. So give it a few minutes. And then it displays a message on screen, letting you know that you need to press the flashing I button or information button on the printer itself. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you press that button, it automatically moves on to the next step in the setup process. And it then lets you know that the printer is now successfully connected to Wi-Fi. Click continue. And it has more terms and conditions for you to agree to. I'm going to click accept all. And then it asks you whether you'd like to activate HP Plus for smart printing capabilities. I'm not going to do this at this time. This is entirely optional and entirely up to you. For a fairly simple setup, I'm not going to do this. So I'm going to click do not activate HP Plus. And then it asks you whether you'd actually like to decline HP Plus. I'm going to click on that. Then it gives you a notice that lets you know that this printer will only work with genuine HP cartridges. Click continue. And then it says that it is registering the printer. And on the screen that follows, it informs you that your new printer includes two months of instant ink, ink and delivery. I'm not going to enable ink delivery. So I'm going to click do not enable ink delivery. Again, it asks you whether you're sure and I'm going to say yes, I am sure. Skip the offer. And then it asks you to load paper, which is what we're going to do. To load paper into the paper tray, I'm going to pull on this tab on the bottom and pull the paper tray out. And then you're going to slide the guides outward and then insert your paper into the tray. And then for a last step, slide your guides back into place. And then let's close the compartment. And once you load paper into the printer, it automatically notices that paper has been loaded. So click continue. And then it says that alignment is required for the best print quality. And I'm gonna click continue to print the alignment page and let that print out. Once the alignment page prints out, you want to open the scan lid, place the page exactly as directed onto the scan bed with the top left hand corner of the page face flat on the scan bed aligned with the top left hand corner of the scan bed and close the scan bed and then tap the copy button on the printer. And once you do that, it lets you know that it is scanning the alignment page and it then tells you that the alignment process is complete. Tap continue. And then it asks you whether you'd like to choose the auto updates option or just be notified when updates are available. I'm gonna choose the auto update option and click apply. It then also lets you know that you can print from other devices and it can send you a link to download the app or software. I'm gonna skip this step for now, but you're welcome to do this if you'd like. And I'm gonna click skip sending link. And then it lets you know that you can print a test page if you'd like. I highly recommend doing this just to make sure everything really checks out. And I'm gonna click print to print the test page. And it then brings you all the way back to the home page of the app where you can actually see a little picture of your printer and a green check mark next to the HP NV6400 series. And that lets you know that setup is complete and you can now print to this printer. And this brings us to the 
end of the unboxing and setup of the HP NV6400 series. If you're looking to buy this printer, I'll leave a link right below the video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.